Honeyville and Durango holds a secret of sweet spirits, but things quickly change to aspen groves and lily ponds. Of course we are provided with the perfect riverside campsite nestled within towering trees. A bit of pucker pass with a fresh rock slide on a shelf road offering deadly views. And finally, let's see how many that's what she said joke opportunities are in the tiny fish segment. So check this place out. If you like honey, this might be your thing. Gonna skip in here and see if we can't find any ingredients for uh, trails and cocktails. Honeyville has just about everything in the honey world, but I'm only concerned about one thing. Oh, here we go. It's not just honey. <laughs> Check this place out. Wow. Here's where the magic happens. All right, so this is Ian. He is going to tell us all about these, well, at least the vodka, awesome vodka they make here. So uh, vodka, uh, it's all distilled here, everything here. And we essentially start off with a mead. We ferment honey and we, uh, it's corn-based vodka with the fermented honey. So we distill, the vodka through that uh, three times, kind of like a about an average distill time, I guess. I think some vodkas are like about five, so this is three. And no honey is added after distillation. It's just it's got that honey taste from the uh, distilling it through the honey. Oh wow! That's so pretty cool. very light, kind of get it like on the nose. You don't really get it over the tongue. None of that ethanol taste. It's very mild. And then you get a nice little honey finish. It adds a nice uh, little tinge to your cocktails. Well, thank you. And I can definitely say after uh, that they do do taste testing here that it is pretty freaking good. And if you're coming through Durango, I highly recommend you guys stopping by. Well, sometimes, that wasn't a good noise at all. Things just don't go as planned. Left Durango, started raining. Oh, it says drive. Scary for a second. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> back to the matter at hand. I was coming down to Lime Creek, never been here, to do some fishing. And I thought it was a, a paved road or just like a dirt road. Turns out it's a it's an off-roady trail, like nothing super hard, but like I'm sure you can see the camera over there, but I don't know, maybe like a three. Wish I would have aired down because it's super freaking rocky. And that means it's gonna throw off my entire night. Which means I might not be camping on that pass I wanted to because it's gonna take me forever. I can't get over 10 miles an hour on here. Um, so I might have to improvise and camp over here, which I guess the benefit of uh, doing this stuff solo. Speaking of which, first solo trip in the Titan. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, everything goes good because we did a little transmission upkeep before this trip. So let's uh, see if I actually know what the hell I'm doing and if he doesn't uh, just grenade on one of these trails. But this could be a happy accident. It is absolutely beautiful over here. Just huge aspen groves and then when it breaks open, awesome vistas. Um, it's always good. I mean, sometimes not having a plan is the best plan. But being a hell, we can find a uh, we. It's a. Uh, it's we. Uh, if we can find a good campsite tonight, like maybe staying down by the river would be pretty freaking awesome. But uh, we'll see. Check this out. Not something you see a lot in Colorado, but I think it's worth the top in a full-on giant pond marsh area with tons of lily pads. Kind of expect us to see a, one of them there mountain mooses. Mountain cow? Yeah, let's go with mountain cow. Feel like it's set up perfect for one of those. But wow, super cool. There I am, there he is. You hear eagles or hawks getting after it, getting busy in the background. 
making sweet American love. I mean, heck, that kind of list looks like Alaska down there. Got to take a quick stop. Look at this, safety first. But check out the view over here. Not too bad. I bet this place is good, 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 gorgeous during the fall with all those aspens. But not too shabby at all. All right, so this is turning into a little bit of a shelf road here. Not terrible. It's not like you're on Black Bear Pass, which is actually pretty close to here. But in a full size rig, after a little rain, it gets your attention. And uh, I'm sure you can see it up yonder. They do have these, at least in the wider spots. It's, uh, um, what should we call it? Um, barriers keep you from. If you have a little accident, but yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And I'm sure you can see from up top as well. It's kind of some cantilever cliffs and there's some pretty big boulders that have uh, recently come down, like today, which would um, really put a dampener on your adventure. You took one of those to the vehicle. Oh uh, yeah, there's some, they're all over the place. But, well, we'll make it, probably. I'm sure my insurance covers rockfall. Once you get to the canyon floor, things get a little moist. Hope that isn't an issue for most of you. I kind of thought I was SOL. The road was super narrow. I saw nothing online or maps I had for any camp spots. There was no pull-offs. And then through the trees, through the trees, I saw a little bit of opening. I was wondering, is that another road to some campsites? And it kind of looks like it because I kept going and there was a little bit of a turnoff. And as you could see from uh, my super duper hood cam, giant freaking logs. There are campsites in here. Fudge yes. And a Toyota. I mean, I guess people still drive those, right? I actually love Toyotas. Must just be my jealousy monster. I think it was absolutely dumping here earlier. And I'm kind of glad I missed that, but it is suit. As far back as possible, so I don't have people driving through me. Be right on the right on the creek, man. I'm hoping this is the last one. That would be dope on a rope. Oh, we've got we've got some mud, ladies and gentlemen. A little, little mud bog. Windows. Come on, you got it, man. Oh, shit. Like it wasn't even there. It wasn't even, I want to yell America, but this is definitely a Japanese truck. Oh, look at that. Final campsite, right, right where I'd want it to be. Can't argue with that. Now you know you're officially at the campsite. Nab the magic spot at the end of the trail. And with these giant trees, you won't be seeing anyone and I'll feel totally alone. How about this for the quintessential mountain scene campsite? Anyone that might be hungover and or is epileptic, look away. Although if you didn't, you might now have those issues. Away we go, Dewey. All right, so here's the grueling walk from the truck all the way to this 
babbling brook through the woods. And that's as far as I am from this creek. Pretty freaking sweet. It is 6.11. Made pretty good time on half-ass setup on the campsite. But let's see. Oh, I can smell smoke from somebody else. I can't catch a few fish before it gets dark, man. Wish me luck. Dewey, we're gonna get fish. Oh, he's ready. So I'm not right on the water. And I'll be honest, I thought this was going to be a little bigger than it is. <clears throat> That's what she said. Um, but I, I reckon I could pull a few out. Oh, look at him in his natural environment. The mountain rat, Dewey. Go. First monster fish. Man, I wish I had a net for this guy. And just in case you're curious, this was done beer in hand. But uh, that might be one of the smallest fish I've, uh, I've ever caught. What do you think, Dewey? Well, but it lacks in size. It makes up for and uh, personality and with those colors. There's another what she said joke in there somewhere. There you go. Itty bitty tiny little brookie. Give it a kiss, Dewey. <laughs> Give it a little kisses. All right. Just got here. That was probably in the first minute. Not even done with my first beer. And uh, pop the cherry on Lime Creek so far. So goose. Come on, Dewey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Dewey. Let's go, buddy. Cross that raging river. Come on. Yeah. It's my big boy. Who's my big boy? <laughs> Who says you need a big dog to go camping and fishing? Come here. Here, do it. Oh, good boys. Another monster. What do you think, Dewey? Another giant fish? What do we got here? Oh no, Dewey! Dewey, no. Uh, this dude's having a bad day. Dewey's about to drown. No. Those no. that say size doesn't matter are lying, never had the large version, or we're talking about plane crashes. Needless to say, I was left uh, a little unsatisfied. Dewey. Kisses. All right. I'm not going to call them big, but sadly enough, he's twice the size of the other guys. Right in my mouth. Uh, come here, oh, bastard. Right in the corner. In a way. Dewey, meow. Dr. Barreau would be proud. Meow. Well, that camp have the truck running because this guy right here was back and forth across the river and it is freezing cold and I'm trying to be a good dad, but we managed, I said I'd stop at 10 fish, I stopped at 11, uh, GoPro died, and they were all tiny, like if you smushed them all together, you could get like one good fish stick out of it, so nobody tunes in to see, look at things on the internet of like world's smallest, well, I, I hope not, maybe that's a category in one of those sites, but um, I'd spare you the pain this time around. Um, it's time to set up camp. I don't think we're gonna find any firewood because everything is soaking wet. So uh, 
he gets to stay in the cab and I've got a heated blanket. So I think we'll be all right. Last night at my friend's house, I did make a baked mac and cheese with two kinds of smoked cheese, eight sharp cheddar, bacon, this right here, if you can see it, but I can't. There's some roasted peppers in there, egg, milk. It's, it's uh, got a crumbly top on it. So it's pretty good. And as you can see, doing it super lazy, so I don't have any dishes. You all can tell me about that later. But I just uh, don't, don't feel like doing anything. And fortunately, it's a little dark do a uh, Trails and Cocktails segment, although I might still just have something after like, boop to that. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, getting up early-ish. Gonna go hit uh, a couple passes, maybe take a fear on the way back, do a little alpine loop, but we'll see. But I am checking out for tonight. Smoke pop! Not that anybody asked, but if you were curious of what the inside of the truck looked like at night, this is it. We got Dewey with his stylish new uh, vest. You can really see because it's kind of dark. Um, that's not a full bar. It's a half bar. And then, yeah, yeah, I got that. But you could also plug uh, this thing into it. And I have a screen to watch movies on, which is pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, it's the bachelor pad, bruh. Nighty night. And remember, what's your goal?